I will now pack the combustion tube. In the startup kit, you will find all of the material necessary for packing the tube, which includes quartz pieces, platinum catalyst, the combustion tube guard, funnel, and of course the combustion tube. I have my tube resting in this holder. If you don't have anything like that available, then a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask or beaker of approximately the same size works well. So, to get started, um, and before I start, uh, it's not necessary to wear gloves. However, your hands should be clean, free of any kind of oils, soaps, detergents, and always have ready either Kim wipes or paper towels as we're going to, to wipe off the combustion tube after we get done packing it. I do not recommend using any types of solvents or anything like that to clean the outside of the tube. If you wipe it down clean with something like a Kim wipe, that should be all that's necessary. Now, in advance of this, I've gone ahead and taken the catalyst and quartz beads out of their containers. And I'll start first with uh, the quartz chips. Uh, in, in this uh, startup kit, there will be 10 grams of quartz chips. And we're going to pour approximately half of those down into the bottom of the combustion tube. Not quite half. That should bring the level of the quartz chips up approximately a half to one inch. Next, I'm going to take the entire contents, all 15 grams of catalyst, and pour that in. Occasionally, I take it, I'm just going to tap it down a bit. Then I will insert the combustion tube guard, just let it fall in on the catalyst. And as the final step for the packing part, I will pour the rest of the quartz chips down through the center of the combustion tube. That is a complete combustion tube packed uh, according to our instructions. So at this point, what I would want to do is, in using my paper towels, go ahead and wipe it off just to make sure that it's clean. And before we install it into the furnace, we will need to install the cap and slider assembly. Okay. The cap slider assembly has two O-rings that you can see inside and when we install this we want to ensure that it fits snugly down onto the top of the combustion tube so that both of those O-rings will see. Now that I have a packed combustion tube, I will need to mount or install the slider and cap assembly onto the combustion tube. It's a good idea with new O-rings to just dampen the end of your finger and put a small amount of water on both of the O-rings. This will help it slide onto the combustion tube and this will dry off when the combustion tube heats up. So, I'll grab my combustion tube, hold it by the stem, so I place the cap on top, push down slightly, you'll feel it go past the first O-ring, then push down just a little bit more, 
and you'll hear it click into place as it went past the second O-ring and came in contact with the top of the cap and slider assembly. 